what's up you guys it's your girl LaShonda B and I am back with a new hair care video for you guys so today I'm going to be doing a lock root touch up and just dyeing my roots of my locks a different color first off when you're dyeing your hair make sure that you're wearing a shirt that you do not care about at all just in case it gets stained the dye that I'm going to be using today is from Cream of Nature, you guys. It's the color 7.3, which is medium warm brown. And I'm just going to be dyeing my roots brown, like a light brown. First, I go in with Vaseline and put it around my edges, including the back of my head to protect my skin, you guys. And these are just some items that I have along with me, which is a dye brush. I bought the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo just in case I needed it for brassiness. I got the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Edge Control because you guys know this is currently my favorite edge control and it does the job. And then I have me a pink satin bonnet. In both dye boxes, you're going to receive an instructions manual. The dye boxes also include these products, which is the developer. That's the white bottle that you guys just seen. And this is conditioner for the hair after coloring. So this is the actual hair color that I'm going to be dyeing my hair today and it comes in this orange kind of tube. And then I also have a hair oil treatment which just helps with shine and to seal in any moisture. In the instructions manual, it's going to be two gloves to protect your hands. I always recommend buying more because those tend to break on me. And then the manual also has um, steps one through seven, I believe, to help you do this correctly. But I'm going to go ahead and add the actual color into the developer. If you do choose to go with this cream of nature dye box to dye your hair, I do want to let you know that this is sealed off and it's pretty thick. So grab something pointy like scissors or the back of a comb or the back of your edge control brush and just open that up. Now I'm just mixing the two and I like to squeeze it really hard because it's metal so it's pretty thick and hard to get the product out of and you want to make sure that you're getting a bang for your buck. And then I always put the cap back on because I don't want the dye to spread on over countertops and things like that and stain stuff. So now I'm just shaking it together trying to mix it really really well. I like to tap the top to make sure it's not like one specific product stuck in that cap and just continue to shake it well and make sure everything gets mixed all together so now you guys are just watching me add the vaseline and i know a lot of people don't do this but this is kind of an old school hack i've been dyeing my hair like this since i was young and it always worked for me it always protected my skin so i'm going to continue to do it This is the only thing I don't like about the Cream of Nature dye boxes is that the tube has to be cut and it can get really, really messy because they are super thick. So Cream of Nature, if you ever see this, please just add like a top on the tube that I can just take off or something I can just snap off really quick because yeah, I just, I'm never, I've never been a fan of their tube because I don't want it to pop everywhere and get dye everywhere in my bathroom but <laughs> yeah you guys i just started to apply it to my roots in the back of my head trying to make sure that it's saturated within the locks and you guys are just watching me add it to the front now as you guys can see i'm trying to spread it throughout my fingers making sure that each um inch of my hair has dye on it this is not as easy as doing like loose natural hair with locks because they're so thick you have to make sure that you're putting like a lot of products in one area to get that color to show up so that's what i'm doing you guys now I didn't show you guys like me fully dyeing the back of my hair because I wanted to show the front more. Plus it's really not that difficult. It's not like a lot of um, details in it. You literally just apply it to your hair and the parts that you're trying to dye your hair. So me, I'm just doing my roots. So you guys just see me apply it to my roots. But if you're doing more uh, your whole head, I would suggest you just apply it to your whole head and make sure that it's saturated. But once I'm done, you guys, I just put this um, plastic back over my head because my locks are too thick and heavy for regular caps so the regular plastic bags from the stove this is what works for me 
Now I'm just going to let this sit for 30 minutes. I believe the instructions said specific time. I think it was like 20 minutes. But since my locks are so thick, there's no way they were going to be dyed in 20 minutes. And 30 minutes did just the job. They are very, very pretty golden brown as I wanted. Nothing too much, nothing too crazy. Just a lighter brown, a lighter um, color than my natural brown hair. Now I'm just going to go in with my necessary shampoo and this was actually my first time using this shampoo but I really really like it. It said it's good for scalp care which I needed because I don't know how the dandruff was, was going to act with the new color so I just wanted to catch it beforehand but I love my new color. So now I'm going to add the conditioner treatment to my hair to just add back um, a little bit of hydration into my locks. As you guys can see, I don't add it to my ends because I didn't color my ends. So it was no reason to just put extra hydration there when it's already some there. So I just added it to the parts that I actually dyed. As you can see, the conditioner is washed out of my hair and it's looking pretty hydrated and nice. So next we're going to go in with that oil treatment. And this is something that you can actually leave in your hair and not wash out, which I love. It felt really, really good, nice and soft on my hair. It was kind of one of those peel back caps. So it was easy for application without getting like super messy, which I loved. So this is the next day, you guys. I wanted to wait until the next day before putting any tension on my hair. But this is how the color is looking. A subtle, pretty brown color. And I feel like it's the perfect ombre with the blonde on the tip. So I absolutely love this. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And your girl is out. Peace out, y'all. Yeah. Rolling, 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 rolling.